Hello everyone, Frozen Cross here, and welcome back to another episode of Tag Force 3. In the last episode, we started Chaz's story, and uh, we are looking for people who's been stealing stuff around the island. In this episode, I guess we're going to wrap up this investigation and find out who's been stealing what. Uh, if you're enjoying the series and want to see more, be sure to have a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright. You've been asleep, so uh, you probably haven't heard. We got a message from Chancellor Shepard. He said he has to talk to the student body, mainly the graduating class. He wants all of us to meet up with him. It might be another incident affecting the entire island. My fried shrimp, Alexis' dress, they could both be related to this incident. Are you ready? Let's get going. Alright. Looks like everyone is here. Has there been some kind of incident, Chancellor Shepard? Yes. Actually, the island's boat has been stolen. The boat? That's right. We use it to bring all of your daily necessities to the island. That boat can carry a lot more than the others, so it was very convenient. Uh, what do we do? Who could have done such a thing? That boat is a lifeline for this island. Dual Academy is in the middle of the ocean. That's right. This is too serious to be just a prank. Wait, nobody move! Oh no, here we go again. What is it? Could it be? The person who stole the boat is right here among us. Uh, I should have known. Mark my words, I'll uncover the truth in the name of the great Detective Chaz. This incident is connected to all of the events that occurred before it. What's that mean exactly? First of all, the culprit loves fried shrimp so much he stole mine. And he must have not had many chances to meet female duelists. So after arriving at the academy, he fell in love with the lovely Alexis. But he didn't know how to approach her, and ended up stealing her dress. Hmm, and then... And he has been entering and leaving the island on his own for some time, which would require the use of a boat. There's only one man who fits all those characteristics. Who is it? The culprit is you, Aster. What? Chaz, always accusing the most unlikely person. Are you feeling okay, Chaz? But really? Is Aster the culprit? <laughs> Things have taken an interesting turn. You always did like a surprise ending, Chancellor. You think I'm the culprit. Do you really think you can accuse me with that half with that half big logic of yours? <laughs> Why don't you give up give yourself up quietly? I don't know what you're trying to prove, but if you want to take me in, you're gonna have to take me by force. Fine by me. Hey Chaz, can I get on in on the action this time? Why? This has nothing to do with you! <laughs> I guess you plan to join up with Chorus as usual. Then I'll be partners with Aster. How about it, Aster? I plan to put an end to this ridiculous duel as quickly as possible. So if you want to be my partner, just make sure you don't slow me down. Alright, that's the Aster I know. Let's get going, Chorus. Come on, Chazlock Holmes. <laughs> don't call me that. I'm the great Detective Chaz, and you're going to... F and don't you forget it. Come on, Chorus. It's time to bring the culprit to justice. Ugh. Oh, boy. Alright. With my light swords, there's no way we can lose. Hopefully. Yeah, we know. We got this. Alright. I'm so sorry, Aster. <laughs> that we have to deal with this nonsense. Oof, that's kind of a rough hand, not gonna lie. At least you can bring out the Ojama Knight, which I guess is okay. Monster Ah, okay. Alright, show me what you got, Mr. Destiny Hero. I wonder, is there like an actually viable Destiny Hero focused deck out there? 
It probably is, but I don't know. I feel like you use Destiny heroes to bring out, say, masked heroes or like the other, all the, those other new heroes that are out there. Not necessarily Destiny heroes in general. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, that that hurts me. I feel so in pain. But now he probably has like Mirror Force or something going in there. And I'm just gonna hate it. Alright, Lila, do your thing. Mini, 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 mo. Uh. Let's pop this one. Ooh, nice! I wonder what that one is at the bottom. Uh. No, I think we're fine. Alright, end my turn. Can't really do anything. Oh, no wolf. I have three wolves in my deck, and I have n and I have yet to sit there and mill one. I have yet to mill one. Do you know how frustrating that is? <laughs> now I'm gonna lose my Lila. Because... Well, it's totally worth it, though, to be honest with you. Wait. Hold on. Uh... Yeah, the attack. Okay. Yeah, no, I can't do anything. Alright. At least I don't have to worry about milling poor what's-his-face. Oh my god, stop. What are you doing, bruh, dude? What are you doing? Oh! Oh! What? Oh, wow. So now he can bring out Ojama, whatchamacallit. Hmm. Interesting. So now he can bring out the big one. He can bring out Ojama King now. Wow. That's the first time I've ever seen anyone do that. Wow, we actually get to see the animation for it. Looking just as gross as usual. <laughs> what? Oh, if only he had the... Was it a field spell? Or was it like a continuous spell? That brought out... That would reverse... That would change the attack and defense of all the Ojamas. I don't remember. Alright, well. How nice of him to full the field without having me do anything about it. That's gonna be annoying. Uh-oh. Yes, please destroy. Oh no, that thing attacks directly. Oops. Alright, well, destroy that at least. Uh, what do I want to summon? <laughs> I have no idea. I guess I could just summon the Paladin. Yeah, I'm not. No. And let's kill this one. No, I don't need to do that. Not yet, at least. Yeah, so it goes back there. Um... Yeah, I guess I had my turn. I can't do anything. Okay, I would've been mad if I... If I got... If I milled... <laughs> if I milled Wolf and all oh, this is here, I'd be so mad. It's gonna happen. No, I can't do anything. Well, I guess I could've used Mirror Wall, but honestly... I was kinda waiting for that one. No, we're fine. Wait, what? Oh, because... okay. Well, sorry, pal. 
Sorry, pal, you can do your Ojama Delta Hurricane. Crystal Slicer, what? Oh no. Ouch. Huh. Alright. Yeah, yeah, alright. Yeah, they can't touch any of them. Oh, look at that! Look who's here! I put. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. <sighs> I knew it was gonna happen. I just had that sneaking suspicion that it was gonna happen eventually. Uh, let's just go kill this crystal beast. That goes back to the back row. And my turn again. It's too bad he doesn't have that card as mentioned before. I don't know what it is. I think it's either a field spell or it's a continuous spell that will re that will flip the defense and attack of all Ojama monsters. I think it's a field spell. But I don't see him drawing that. Alright. Only 50. Which I think is kind of funny. Ooh, Diamond Dude? Okay. Ooh, another Honest. Uh, I'm just gonna set you... Will this be enough to do a double Honest? I don't think so. You know what? Nothing venture, nothing gain, they say. I think this should be more than enough, but I'm not too sure. Nope, but it did a lot of damage. <laughs> nope, wasn't enough, but hey, whatever. Alright. We're almost there, guys. There's that damn cat again. Yeah, you can attack directly. Oh, magical mallet. I wish he didn't do that, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? You could put him in defense position. You don't have to use him to attack. Never mind. And now they are officially locked down. They are officially locked down. They cannot summon at all. That's interesting. I've never seen Chaz do that. Oh, thank God. Oh, here's something I can use. Put you in defense position, and... No, wait, let's just summon double D. Let me see. Yeah, this should be game now. Are you kidding me? Oh, well. I... Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, no, it is enough. Okay. So, I wouldn't have worried. Okay. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Easy peasy. Man, that was very interesting of seeing Chaz lock down the whole monster field like that. I was not... expecting that at all. All right. Oh man, we lost. Eh, whatever. Have you learned your lesson? The goddess of victory always favors those with justice on their side. <laughs> that was a splendid duel. Who won? Was it Chorus? <laughs> Sorry, Aster, but the occasional defeat is what makes duels fun. 
Yeah, tag duels are considered difficult even in the Pro League. Alright, Aster, it's time. Are you going to return what you've stolen? Where's my fried shrimp, Alexa's dress, and the boat? Are you insane? You really think I'd steal all that stuff? It really doesn't make sense. I mean, Aster has his own yacht. And he doesn't even seem to be in love with Alex in love with Alexis either. I see. The true culprit tried to set Aster up as the thief. He's smarter than I give him credit for. He'd better he'd have to be to fool me. Actually, I think you just gave this too much thought. Plus, there's no guarantee that all of the incidents involve the same person. Leave this to me, Chandler Shepard. Shepard, I'll find the true culprit. Well, that was interesting. What's Chaz thinking, anyway? I think maybe Chaz is getting lonely with what with the graduation coming. Chaz? Lonely? It looks like he wants to make some last memories on... Last memories at the Academy. He's accusing innocent people just so he can duel them. Hmm, you may be right. What are you guys whispering about over there? We still haven't found the true thief yet. We have to get to work. Come on, Chorus, follow me. Ugh. Alright, I will see you at the last event. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. Last story. It's almost time for the graduation finals. Pull yourself together. We're going to be the winners of the pre prestigious graduation tag duel. <laughs> Even Jane has turned over a new leaf, but you... You haven't grown at all since you entered the academy. Well, I suppose you could say that's one of your assets. But in any case, the outcome of the finals can affect our futures. Make sure your deck is in impeccable condition. You don't want to embarrass yourself in front of the entire student body. What is he talking about? I literally helped you save this goddamn island like three, two other times already. What do you mean? This guy. Ooh, makes me want to drop kick him. All right. Let's go. What are you talking about? I literally... Don't know what the hell he's talking about. Now then, everyone, it's time for the final graduation tag duel to begin. It's been a long emotional journey, but this is it, the final duel. The day has come at last. The graduation tag duel finals. It's every student's dream. Good luck, Chaz. Go get him, Chorus. Wow, the finals. You two better win this. Alexis is watching. This is perfect. We're going to face our final opponents at last. I wonder who will they be. What? Wait a minute. It can't be. They're our opponents? <laughs> Me draw great today. I not lose this duel. The Vice Chancellor Crowler. Are they really our opponents? Indeed they are. They're the remaining tag team as decided by the rules. My swan song, my final duel at the academy is against these guys? Huh. Wait a minute. I see it now. Everything fits. What is it, Chaz? I, the great detective Chaz, have finally solved the mystery. The true culprit behind the incidents on the, I on the island is among us. What? Here we go again. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you can't fool me any longer. It was a cunning plan, though, with layers upon layers of deception. Allow me to explain. First of all, the culprit has been living in the mountains, and thus he is always hungry. But on that fateful day, he was unable to stand it any longer, and he ate my precious fried shrimp. You don't mean... Secondly, the culprit wears clothes to nothing, but for some reason he found himself in need of some clothes, and so he stole Alexis's dress. A guy who lives in the mountain and wears almost nothing, but that's... Thirdly, the culprit was planning to leave the island after graduation. You might even say that he needed the clothes to leave the island, but he would also need a boat. Hey, do you think he's found the real culprit this time? And so, he stole the boat and hid it in the forest. Interesting, so who is it? There is only one person who fits all these descriptions. That's right, our opponent is the culprit behind all of these incidents. Him? It can't be. Me? <laughs> oh no, but there's no way he fit in my dress. You're the culprit, come on, give yourself up. The great detective never does get it right, does he? Uh, <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. Your logic is questionable, but I never expected that you'd find me out. What? You don't mean... That's right. We, the Dark Scorpion Grave Robbers group, are the culprits. What? You guys again? 
We stole the fried shrimp, the dress, and yes, the boat as well. He thought Chaz had identified him, so he gave himself up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's so dumb. Th that's exactly what happened. I knew it all along. We're going to leave the this island in search of treasure. Come, Chaz. With this duel, we will be at last freed from our dark curse. Quiet! You idiots are going to live in with the Ojama Trio for all eternity. <laughs> this is an, an appropriate turn of events for our graduation duel. Prepare yourselves. The Chaz and Chorus are going to Chaz things up. Come on, Chorus. It's a dark duel. Be on your guard. Oh my god. He, he got it by through sheer, sheer dumb luck. That's all it was. Uh, well, at least we find out found out who was responsible. At least, I guess. But why would the dark scorpion need a dress? What were they going to do with the dress? That's the one part I don't get. And what were they going to do with just some sh shrimp? Like, I'm pretty sure Duel Island is pretty far away from the mainland, right? So, were they all going to just survive on shrimp for like four or five days? I guess that's the logic. Whatever. It's, uh, this whole this whole story is dumb. That's that's all I have to say. Maybe I should have maybe I should have changed his deck a little bit. I don't know. I didn't want to mess with anything. Ojama Country, that's it. That was the name of the spell card. That's the card that sits there and says that uh, can that switches the attack and defense. Okay. Oh my god. It took me like all this entire story to remember what the hell that name was. But I'm glad I remembered it. <laughs> Trap dust shoot. Uh oh. <gasps> Oh, he just sent it back to my hand. Let's see what happens if I just chuck this. Ooh, that's not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Time to throw Wolf into the graveyard so he can come back better than ever. My boy, my Wolf boy. And then I summon Jane the Paladin. And use this. Oh yeah, this is gonna be some juicy, some a juicy beatdown. Yeah, he's probably gonna remove my thing from play because that's the whole point of the DD Warriors. But I'm okay with that because I'm gonna smack you for 2,600 right in the face. Oops, <laughs> why did I do that? Uh, I thought it was a main face too. Uh, no. Butterfingers, okay. So, set these bad boys, and now I end my turn. Oh, this is, this duel's gonna be easy. Like, <laughs> this is gonna be so easy. Maybe, I don't know. No, I'm not gonna do that. Are you kidding me? Nah, I'm not going to do that. That was his whole turn. Oof. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's not much you can do, judging by that hand. Uh, yeah, I can't bring back Judgment Dragon, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of oops. Yeah, I think for him I'll probably use... Oh? What? 
Oh, I think he's just trying to build up a shield for his life points. Now, see, I would have used Solemn Judgment for that. Yeah. Yeah, I would have used... I would have used Solemn Judgment for that one. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> well, I'm just going to have to wait for the three turns. And then see him Destiny draw, whatever that's going to be. Okay. Another Allure of Darkness. Is he trying to... Oh, don't tell him he's trying to sit in Exodia my ass. Because if he does that... Uh, I'll be kind of mad. Uh... Yeah, I'll just remove that from play. Yoink. Where is this mass dragon? He just has he just has all these damn ojamas and I'm just like, ew. <laughs> Ooh. Nice and summon skull. And then we swords them. Alright, alright, yay. Giant Trune, are you sh oh no. Ugh, back at it again. Just so we can do it again. Oh, are you shitting me? Oh, I hope I draw mirror. Uh. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, I got another luminous spark out. <laughs> oh, that makes me so mad. All right, I'm just gonna. Okay, after a few turns, I finally, um, had to deal with that. I think this is game for this one. Honest for the win. Ugh, that was annoying. He sat there and used Giant Trini just so he can sit there and... Ooh, ooh, that, that boils my blood. <laughs> that, almost, that almost made me want to pitch something. Alright. Goodbye, Dark Scorpions. Alright. <laughs> Not bad, eh? I hope you've learned the error of your ways. That was amazing! Chaz, Chorus? N no Not again! Now, go back to being monster spirits, alright? But don't worry, once I become a pro-duelist, I'll let you guys join me as cars while I travel around the world. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll give back the dress. Thank goodness. I'm glad you got your dress back, sissy. But who would have thought that Alexis would like dresses? I guess you've got a bit of a feminine side after all. Oh my god, Jaden. Hey, isn't that a little rude? <laughs> it's alright, Jasmine. I don't usually like dresses, but... That one that was stolen was given to me by my brother. It reminds me of so many wonderful memories at the Academy. Aw, Alexis. I totally understand. Objects and memories are both important. Yeah, we've been through so much together. But I gotta say, you would look great in a dress, Alexis. Alexis, you have to wear a dress at the graduation party. A dress? I'd be too embarrassed. Hmm? Guess that means I should arrange to have a new one made. I'll give back your boat, too. It's hidden on the north side of the forest. Really? That's a relief. Just a minute, you. What about my fried shrimp? I... I ate that right away. I was hungry. What? That was the most important thing out of the stolen items. Even if he gave it back, I don't think it'd be edible now. That's right. What? How dare you? I'll never forgive you for this. Back to your card. I should tr throw you and your card down to the bottom of the sea. N no anything but that. Hmm. <laughs> Chaz really hasn't changed a bit, has he? It's kind of, but it's kind of reassuring in a way. I was afraid he'd go back to being a snob like he was in his first year. 
Jazz will be fine. Just look how much those monster spirits like him. True, monster spirits are very honest. And he's definitely popular at the Academy too. Yes, I think we can say he's certainly grown as a person. Well, I gotta admit I'll be looking forward to facing him in the Pro League. Hm, <laughs> these spirits. They're all trying to make a fool of me. Cars, you should try and talk some sense to these spirits. Loser spirits, duelists of the world, listen carefully. I've been idolized by the slackers of Duel Academy, hailed by loser card spirits, and now that I'm entering the Pro League, I will be famous throughout the dueling world. Oh. <laughs> I am Chaz Princeton, otherwise known as the Chaz. Now bow before me. Uh, man, his ego... Never change, Chaz. Never change. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. This guy. Alright, so, with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, I do believe, I think... I'm not too sure exactly who's the story I'm going to do, but we'll see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time.